Hello, welcome again to my blog. This is our lesson 6.1. This is a continuation question, so I've decided to cut it out. Okay, to retain your to retain audience retention. Okay. Okay, so this one is I'll be discussing to you lesson 6.1 entitled The Ethical, the Ethical Dilemma Faced by This Technological Advancement. Okay, so yes, it is true that technology really helped us a lot. It lessens our burden. It makes us very efficient. And we can do a lot of things because of technology, because of the help of technology. And yes, it is very useful and beneficial. And I can't deny that. Technology is a very useful and beneficial advancement. But there are still dilemmas faced by using these necessities. We will talk about the ethical dilemma if using this thing is good or not good for mankind, good or not good for the, for the people, especially for the youngsters. Okay, so there are several dilemmas faced by using this technological advancement. Let's talk about the first thing, the first dilemma. Dilemma is, most parents would argue that these devices, especially mobile phones, laptops, computers, these devices make their children lazy and unhealthy. Why it's lazy and unhealthy? Because, because when we are so attached with technology, we, we tend to forget something very important. We don't eat, we don't go out, we don't make friends, we just make ourselves here inside the four corners of your room. We just stay here all night, just playing online, just doing something online. And I think that's the I, that's the, the thoughts of your parents why it makes you very lazy and healthy. And healthy, it's because you don't you skip meals because you are playing games. So those are the dilemma. Parents would argue, yes, it is very very. It's very good. It's very useful because I can see my kids here staying at home. But the ethical dilemma is it's because you are staying at home. You are not moving yourselves. You are not doing exercise. You are just staying here playing. And for me, if it's, it's a bit of an ethical dilemma because I don't know where to stand if I let my student go out or if I let my student stay here. So it's it's a portion, it's a it's a bit of an ethical dilemma when you talk about using this kind of technology. Okay, so because people are so fixated with using this kind of technology, especially if you have a new one, we try not we we tend to be more engrossed with that. We are so attached to it and we can't live our day without using that technology. And for me, that's an ethical dilemma. We need to classify things out. We need to, to know what is the right or the wrong thing to do. But prior to my discussion, let's all take note that too much of everything is bad. Let's just put limitations to it. Technology is good, very useful, but let's try to put some limitations to be more productive. Okay, because the negative effect of using technology, especially for young ones, is if they are so engrossed with technology, if you try, they are mad at you when you try to disturb them. And for me, that's the negative impact of technology. Okay, so that's the first dilemma. It makes us lazy and unhealthy. Okay, and because it makes us lazy and unhealthy, People nowadays, especially our youngsters, we tend to experience a lot of illnesses, a lot of sickness because of technology. Because we skip meals, we don't consider our healthy habits. We don't eat healthy foods, we skip meals. That's why a lot of teenagers nowadays, we, they are they easily get sick because of this idea, because they are so engrossed with technology. They don't sleep well. They don't sleep seven to eight hours a day because they are so attached with technology. And that is the downside of embracing too much of our technological advancement. Okay, so everything should have its own limitation for us to be more productive despite the ever-growing society of technological advancement. Okay, 
So I hope that is clear to everyone. Technology is a good thing. I, I also love technology, but I also make it a point to put some limitations to it because I know that I am always in control of myself. I am, although some would agree that technology brings us closer together. Yes, it brings us virtually closer together, but not physically close, but not emotionally close, right? We barely know them. So it, it's really hard to, to post something for myself, right? So I always keep something private to myself because in our lives now, it's already been public because of the idea of posting something to yourself on social media. We've got Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube. Okay, I don't have Instagram, I don't have Twitter. Okay, so I am just good with Facebook and YouTube. Okay, so that is my personal personal boundary. I always make it a point to set my own boundary, personal boundary to make myself a little bit more private. Okay, so, and that is my, my own discretion. Okay, because technology brings us virtually closer together, but not physically or personally we don't know each other just on we just know each other on social media online but it's not physically close together this just shows that technology claims to do something but not in reality we've got a lot of friends but we, we barely know them we don't know them personally right okay so that's the impact of technology so that's why we need to do some ethics of technology. You no, know? we need to classify. We need to know what is right or wrong. Okay, so let's let's have a a quick a quick discussion about the ethics of technology. Okay, we need to know that it is very important for us to know the right and the wrong thing in embracing technology, because not everything you see, you hear, you read on social media are true. Some of those things are just trying to to change how you think some of those ideas concepts are trying to influence you in a wrong way so that's the negative the negative impact of technology so let's talk about the ethics of technology they develop a theory entitled the ethics of responsibility okay because it's really hard to it, it's really hard to to know what is right or wrong without classifying them so we need to know this theory, the ethics of responsibility, meaning it is your responsibility to know what is right or wrong for you on social media. Okay, so if you think it is beyond, if you think it is it is not good for you, because knowing what is right or wrong, it's it really depends on you. No? I have my own way of telling that is right or that is not right, because we are, we are, we are living in a different perspective. I have my own perspective. You also have your own perspective. That's why the way we understand the right and the wrong, it really depends on your personal, personal preference. It really depends on you. Okay? So the word responsibility is being accountable for and account accountable to, to yourself. Meaning the, the the ethics of responsibility is trying to tell you to be accountable for and to be accountable to yourself. Be responsible to yourself while posting anything on social media. Because on social media, a lot of people are sharing, a lot of people are, there's a lot of comments. So let's all be careful with that. The sense of the ethics of responsibility is an appropriate theory that can be used in this dilemma. I know we are confused with a lot of things on social media. We, we don't know what is right or wrong. So that's why it all boils down to you, the sense of responsibility to yourself. Be accountable to yourself. Be accountable to your decisions, to the things that you are posting online. Be accountable to it because you are the sole responsible for the things that is happening to yourself. Okay, so let's all be careful with that. Okay, know your priorities, know your values, know your norms, know what is important to you, know your principles, and that, that's how you know the right or the wrong on social media. Know your values, the ethical sense of responsibility. 
So when you talk when you talk about the ethical or the sense of responsibility, you are you are merely talking about the positive impact of technology. You are not focusing on the negative impact of technology. You use technology in a positive way, and that is the ethical the ethics of responsibility on social media. By using technology, you will use technology in a positive way. You will not use technology in a negative way. You use that in a positive way. And that is the ethics of responsibility. It is our responsibility to use that kind of technology in a more positive. If you feel something wrong, is if you feel that there is something wrong going on with technology, the question is this, who is to be blamed? So am I to be blamed? Okay, so that's that's the dilemma that we are facing when it comes to technology. Okay, the first is we can't blame the children because children they are not yet capable of they are not yet capable of rationalizing things. They are not yet capable of deciding what is right or wrong. So meaning we the adults, we are the sole responsible for our children. We should be in touch with our children when it comes to social media because we can't stop the ever-growing technological advancement. There are a lot of things going on on social media. That's why we need to keep things in private with our children. We should let them learn the, the value, the norms of understanding this kind of advancement. Okay, so we can't blame the children if they are so influenced with technological advancement. But we, the adult, we should correct them if they are thinking the wrong thing. So I think that's that's the very important thing that we are going to use technology in a more positive way. Okay, so so in this dilemma, the question is this: Who is to be blamed? If when when we found out that our children is behaving the wrong way who is to be blamed and it is the sole responsibility of the adult to correct their children if they're doing the wrong thing or to to applaud their children if they're doing the good thing okay because there are a lot of things going on on social media and we can't stop the ever-growing society on social media that's why we can't blame the children if they are following that thing if they are so engrossed with technology and the, the the right thing, the ethics of responsibility on social media. Okay, so that is the idea that that's the second dilemma is we can't blame our children. They are not yet capable of thinking the right thing, the right thing to do or the wrong thing to do. So we, the adult, we are the sole responsible of correcting our children if they are doing the wrong thing. And and teaching them how to do the good thing on social media. Okay, so let's talk about robots. I know that you've seen it on TV, no? I know that you've seen something. Okay, take note that robots play different roles, not only in the lives of the people, but also in the society as a whole. I know that people, we are inventing robots to lessen our burden, to help mankind. Okay, but as what I observe on TV, on TV, they are trying to to create a robot that is closely that is closely similar to mankind. Okay, so we can't stop that invention because because of the ever growing society, we are people are trying to explore more, to do more, and to invent more. Okay, if if robots can help mankind. In, in a more positive way, in a more good way. It's a good thing because it helps us lessen our burden. Okay, and 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 sometimes because of that invention, it is a it makes our work very easy, very efficient. And people are inventing a lot of things just to help mankind. The idea is to help mankind to lessen our burden in this in our society. Okay, but we can't deny the fact that when you talk about invention and talk about creating something, they also face a lot of ethical dilemma. Okay, the, the, the first dilemma when you try to invent robot is the first dilemma is the safety. Okay, so you should always ask yourself if you're trying to invent something, is this safe? Is this safe to mankind? That's why it's it's not easy to invent something now without thinking the the pros and the cons or the 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 consequence of that invention. 
an ethical dilemma is emotional component. Okay, so this is a, a little bit, uh, I was a bit confused with this idea. Emotional component for me, robots. Okay, so if if they are thinking about inventing a robot with emotional capacity, I I I think it would be impossible because it, uh, I don't know. Maybe maybe they can do it a bit a bit similar to to humans, but it's for me it's quite hard it's quite impossible to do to put some emotional attachment to a robot okay but who knows because of the ever growing society who knows people are trying to explore more to do more to be good at it so who am i to judge those brilliant minds okay so there are a lot of things happening around us and we can't stop that the only thing that we can control is ourselves, is to put limitations in everything that we do, to put some personal boundary about things that, that we post online and the things that we keep it to ourselves. Because it, it, it is not easy to feel, to be bullied, right, online. That's why I make sure that I only, I only share positive thoughts. That's why I am doing this blog because I want to help students or my non-students to at least learn something from me. I am using technology in a more positive way. I am using the idea or the ethics of responsibility. It is my responsibility as an instructor, as a teacher, to share my thoughts, my knowledge to all my students. And this is the idea of technology and humanity. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. And I hope you get something out of my very quick discussion. And hopefully you, you get something out of this. And thank you for subscribing and for sharing my video for your likes. So if you want something to, if, if, if you want me to talk about something, you just have put your comments below. Okay, so this, this is the output of, my video is a perfect example of technology and humanity. Thank you so much. And I'll see you again for my next video blog. Thank you and God bless.